Cartesian products are one of the easiest things that you're going to have to learn to do in finite. And all it really is is the cross product of two sets and ordered pairs. So take for example A times B. You would take the first element from A, which is A, match it with the first element B, which is X, and then repeat that process and match the first element A with the second element in B, which is Y. So that would have given you AX, AY. Then you move on to B, the second element in A, and match that with X and then match it with Y. So you'd have, in the end, AX, AY, BX, BY, which would look just like this. And this is correct because the only way you could have gotten this wrong is if you left out one of the ordered pairs, or if you put an element from B before you put an element from A. That would be B times A, not A times B. So just remember, it does matter what order the elements are in. Not, not the ordered pairs themselves, those could really be in any order, but the elements within the ordered pairs have to be in order. So if you're doing A times B, each element from A goes first, and then the element from B goes second. And just make sure you include everything. So here's an example of what would be wrong. AX, that's correct, but then if you look, I have YA, that's incorrect because that's putting an element from B before I put the element from A. And again, I did the same thing here with XB. So avoid that. And the only other thing that makes these confusing at times is if you just have a lot of elements. And in which case, if you have a larger set, it's useful to do this table layout. Well, on the left side here, I have uh, C, and then on the top, I have D. So all I've done is listed out the elements from C, A and B, and then on the top, I listed out all the elements from D, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And then now, all I have to do is go through and match all these up in my table, which is just really quick, and you know you're not missing anything, and you know that you're keeping everything in order. So then after you have all your elements, you just simply take them, put them within the brackets, and create your ordered pair, which would look like this, C times D, A, G, A, H, A, I, A, J, and so on. And I've included every single element. And that's basically all you need to know as far as Cartesian products go.